I started my literature review when I was four years old. I was given the book, The Little Engine That Could, and I was fascinated by the story. For those of you that don't know, it's about the smallest engine in the yard, given the job of taking the toys over the hill to the children waiting on the other side. As he goes up the hill, it gets harder and harder and harder, and he says to himself, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, and of course, eventually, makes it to the children and delivers the toys. So how does this relate to my PhD? Well, it started a lifelong fascination with self-efficacy or confidence. I've always been interested in this idea of self-belief and its power. So when I had to choose a PhD topic, I was teaching accounting at the time to first years, and I thought, I want to investigate the role of self-efficacy within accounting education. Now, I'm going to tell you something at this point that might shock you. Not all students want to learn accounting. <laughs> In fact, accounting as a discipline is often seen as a little bit dull. Who knew? And yet, all students learning about business need to know at least a little bit of accounting before they graduate. Some students want to be there. They're excited. It's interesting. Other students, well, they see it as dull, boring, and hard but they all have to be there, it's not optional. So what I've done is I've surveyed thousands of students across multiple semesters at two different universities, all enrolled in a first year accounting course. I've asked them about their level of self-efficacy with different aspects of the course, such as how confident are you with asking for help from your lecturers, from studying for the exam, organizing your notes, what about how confident are you to pass the exam? And what I've found is that their level of self-efficacy to do with the academic success is actually the most powerful predictor of whether they do succeed in the course, over and above all of the other variables that I gather data on, including whether they've done accounting at high school or not, meaning that self-efficacy is more powerful than prior learning in this context which is really cool for me because it means I've taken this well-established theory, brought it in and shown that it holds in an accounting education space. But excitingly, it also has a practical contribution for learning and teaching accounting because it doesn't matter if you think it is dull, boring, or hard. What really matters at the end of the day is whether you think you can. 